Chocolate in itself is filled with antioxidants and various research shows that eating it can provide a lot of benefits. However, its high sugar and fat content make it harder for people to accept it as a healthy food item. But is there really a healthier way to make chocolate? Viras attended a chocolate tasting session to find out. You got me Is it true that some chocolate can be healthier? Let's find out. So I'm here with John Philip. We're gonna start the tasting session. Okay, we're having a chocolate tasting for our best customers here in Dubai. Okay. And so we brought from France one of our most favorited chocolates in the uh, UAE. So the sugar in, in this uh, chocolate is less than the other chocolate, for sure? Yes, like for example, the, 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 when you do the praliné, you mix always dry fruits, and dry fruits can be uh, either uh, hazelnuts or uh, almonds, okay, with sugar. Uh, and usually you have 60% uh, sugar for 40% of dry fruits. Uh -huh. So nice. very, very low in sugar, and you'll, you'll be able to taste it. Um, go ahead. It's less creamy, much less uh, sweet. Jean-Philippe, how do you define the criteria of the finest chocolate? The choice of the cocoa beans, okay? So you can, when you buy your cocoa beans, whether it is from South America or from Africa, you can buy it from mass-produced distributors, okay? Or you can go to several villages in those countries to select plantations and only buy the actual finest little cocoa on very, very small quantities, okay? So and this is many types of this. Yeah, there are many, many different types of cocoa trees. You many types. And only, yeah, you need to find somebody who really understands the difference. The second thing has to do with the filling. Uh, the filling is mostly dry fruits for uh, praliné, uh, fruits for uh, the fruity chocolates that we have. But when it comes to the praliné, we will choose our dry fruits very selectively. So whether it's hazelnuts that we'll go and pick in uh, Italy, in the Piemont region, the best, most highest quality of hazelnuts in the world. Same thing for the almonds uh, that come from Valencia, Spain. Okay, so we're very, very uh, careful. The sugar. What about the sugar that very, we mix very in with the chocolate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're very careful about sugar, okay? Because sugar uh, creates an addiction right away, okay? It pleases the palate right away. So it's easier to please with uh, a very high amount of sugar. If you decrease the level of sugar, you're going to have some really good ingredients and you'll be able to really taste the ingredients. So what we've asked our chocolatier is really to go down like at least half of regular chocolates in terms of sugar rates. Okay, okay, so very, very low sugar. Another thing also that's very important is what we call 100% cocoa butter. The cocoa butter in chocolates, sometimes other chocolates will substitute it with a vegetable oil because it's going to actually increase the lifespan of the chocolate and it costs a lot less. Mm -hmm. Okay, So what you want to look for when a good chocolate is make sure you only have uh, natural ingredients, so no artificial flavors, uh, no coloring, no preservatives. Extremely important, no preservatives. So that means that these chocolates, they're good here for about a couple weeks. Starting in a couple weeks, the, 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 the taste of the chocolate is going to start to, dec to decrease. Nobody's going to get sick anyway, but you're not going to feel really the uh, roasted almonds or the chocolate ganache. It's, it, the, the taste is going to go away. Jean-Philippe, thank you so much. Yes.